Today I decided to do something a little different in honor of Halloween coming up. We are at the Greystone Manor, aka the Murder Mansion. <laughs> On November 6, 1893, Edward, a.k.a. Ned Doheny Jr., was born and grew up as an heir to one of the world's great financial empires. Ned went on to marry Lucy Smith of Pasadena, and in 1926, his father, Edward Doheny Sr., gave his son as a wedding gift a premium parcel of land consisting of 12 acres with sweeping citywide views. Construction of the manor began in 1927. It took three years to complete and cost over $3 million, an almost unimaginable sum of money at the time. And it's said to have been the most expensive home built in California. What makes this place so intriguing and the murder mansion is Ned Doheny was killed by his assistant, Hugh. But it was an unsolved mystery and some people speculate that Lucy suspected that they were having a relationship and Lucy and her doctor friend killed them. So nobody knows what really happened. It's an unsolved mystery, but people say that they have seen Ned and Lucy's ghosts lurking around the premises. So I'm going to see today if I see anything spooky or feel anything spooky. The story goes that Ned died in a guest room in a murder-suicide with his assistant Hugh Plunkett. The official story indicated Plunkett murdered Ned either because of a nervous disorder or inflamed with anger over not receiving a raise. After Hugh supposedly killed Ned, he murdered himself. The fact that Hugh had a bullet in the back of his head raised some questions on to whether somebody killed him or it was a suicide. Also, it had looked like both bodies had been moved and police found out that it took Lucy hours to report the murders after she found both men. Okay guys, so some creepy things did happen. So when we were walking through, Adam, my boyfriend who's filming this, was like, Javon, did you hear that? I, and I, I didn't hear anything. He's like, I, I promise I heard music. I heard music. It is so gorgeous up here, but it is a little creepy. Wasn't it old music that you heard? Yeah. So he heard like old music. And then when we got to our car, we saw this little handprint and it wasn't either of our handprints because it was very little and it was dust. And I swear it was not on the car before. This handprint right there. We literally got out of the car. There was no handprint. There's no reason for there to be a handprint there. Super creepy. So yeah, I'm concluding with yes, uh, there's something going on here. I do believe it's haunted. It is gorgeous and it's awesome. So if you're in Los Angeles, I definitely recommend checking out the Greystone Mansion. Have a great weekend. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in life coaching sessions, you can email me at the email address below and I'll see you next week. Mwah.